Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. August 4th, David Livingston. David Livingston was a physician, missionary, explorer, and writer. He was the first European to cross the width of Southern Africa, and through his experiences, his work, and his writing, he taught Europe about the horrors of slavery and why it must be stopped. When confronted with injustice, do you step back or speak out? David Livingston deplored slavery, and with good reason. On the 19th of June, 1866, Livingston wrote about one of his trips across Africa. We passed a woman tied by the neck to a tree. She was dead. The natives explained that she'd been unable to keep up with the other slaves and was going to be left behind. And the slave trader had decided that if she wouldn't be his property, neither would she belong to anyone else. Livingston wrote, We saw others tied up in a similar manner, and one lying in the path shot or stabbed, for she was in a pool of blood. The slave trader had become enraged when the woman could no longer march, and the man was beside himself over the money he was losing in the deal, so he killed her. On June 26th, Livingston came upon a well-dressed African woman with many fine beads, as only wealthy women wear. She had a heavy, slave-taming stick jutting out of her back as if she could be steered by it. When she saw Livingston, she cried out to him about the injustice done to her. He realized the man with her was likely a slave trader. Here he was at this exact place and time, just as if God had orchestrated the meeting. Livingston stopped and asked the woman what had been done to her. She said she was a near relative of Chief Chiricoloma, and she was going to see her husband when this man, her captor, chased off her maid and seized her. But the man, not at all eager to stop and chat, claimed she was running away from the great Chief Chiricoloma, and he'd captured her so that the chief wouldn't be angry. Livingston was certain the old man planned to sell the woman But instead of responding with a knee-jerk reaction, in a friendly voice, he asked the man what he expected to receive from the chief for capturing the woman. The old man said, nothing. Well aware that the man's story didn't add up, Livingston gave him a gift of fine woven cloth to give to Chief Chiricoloma to appease him if he was offended. Then Livingston freed the woman and told the man, tell the chief that I feeling ashamed to see one of his relatives in a slave stick, had released her and would take her on to her husband. Perhaps it was God who had orchestrated this encounter. This reminds us of the story of Queen Esther when her uncle Mordecai pleaded with her, do you think you will escape there in the palace when all the other Jews are killed? If you keep quiet at a time like this, God will deliver the Jews from some other source, but you and your relatives will die. What's more, who can say but that God has brought you into the palace for just such a time as this? When confronted with injustice, do you step back or speak out? Speak out. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.